Now let's talk about electric vehicles. Charging one could take hours, but one company in China is cutting that down to just minutes. Take a look.换电确实比充电要快很多，跟加油的时间差不多。换电它让电池跟车从物理上可以分开，那么这种情况下呢，呃，当电池技术进步之后，用户他就很容易去享受到电池技术进步的红利，可以升级升级去使用一些新的电池
updating your iPhone, but uh, but inside the car. Neo doesn't have any sales overseas, but aims to enter Europe in the second half of 2021. For our global viewers who are thinking of maybe getting an electric vehicle or looking to upgrade, is battery swapping something to consider? I guess what we, what we have seen is certainly the start of some technologies in, in the EV sector migrating from China into Europe, into the US. We're certainly not at a point yet where battery swapping is going to become um, in any way ubiquitous in other parts of the world. Um, but certainly people who are considering buying an electric vehicle in the next few years are going to have more choice. It certainly seems to be the case that There'll be various price points with various different kinds of batteries. You know, whether you need one for very long distances that's more expensive or kind of less expensive city run around. It isn't too hard to see a scenario where you could swap those batteries in the future uh, and maybe start with a cheaper car with a, with a less powerful battery and eventually upgrade. It, it's certainly got to be something that's on the minds of car companies who are targeting mainstream consumers right across the U.S., across Europe and globally. All right. Thanks so much. Bloomberg's David Stringer there in Melbourne.